Hello, in today's video I will show you how to remove the steering wheel from your Mercedes W124 uh, for the models that are not equipped with an airbag. Okay, so the reason could be to remove it for several reasons, but uh, most of the time you want to remove it because, for instance, you drive uh, straight and the uh, steering wheel is like that. Then obviously you'll have to remove it and place it properly okay so anyway i will show you all that right away so to remove the steering wheel it's uh, very easy we will use a screwdriver like this one uh, very fine and flat and we will use as well an allen key number 10 okay and you will see we will remove it in in, in no time at all first thing we will need to remove the uh, the logo in the middle for that, we will use that very fine screwdriver and we'll place it between the logo and the rubber. And we'll do like a tire. We'll place it inside and we pry it until it comes out. Then we do another side. Here we go. And bit by bit, it's coming off. Okay. Okay, very good. So be careful not to damage the back because if not, it will show on this side. Okay, very important. Now that you've removed it, we, uh, we're going to remove this. Uh, you can remove it if you want. It's not necessary because if you've got a very long uh, Allen key like mine, you can reach the center, the center bolt and then remove it. OK, but if you want to know how to remove this, well, it's easy as well. It's held by the center and it's held on the side. So the center, what you do, you take it from the inside and you pull it out. OK. Okay, now it's out, it's free. And we do the same thing on each corner. Here we go, now it's off, okay? Now we do, that, do have access to the klaxon. Um, there are cables that are linked here, but it doesn't matter, we don't have to remove them, okay? So now, to remove the steering wheel, very easy, we place the Allen key inside and we unscrew it. So that bolt can be very hard to remove because it's uh, uh, there's a product to make sure it doesn't uh, get loose. Okay, so if it's too hard to remove it like that, what you can do, you can take a spanner of ten, you place it inside, and with that, this will help you getting a bit more force. If still you don't have sufficient force, you use another one that you'll. I'm not sure if you can see it. You see, you place it inside like this, and now you got it longer, okay? And now you push it, and you open it. Usually, once it's a bit loose, it should come out without any problems. So now we remove, we remove it fully. Okay. And here comes the bolt. As you can see, there's a product on it to make sure it doesn't uh, get loose, okay? Uh, now, if you have a look, I'm not sure if you can see it, but that bolt is a bit damaged. So when you use um, a spanner, uh, number 10, make sure it's it doesn't move too much inside. Huh? If not, you will, you will damage it, okay? So now here we go. Uh, now we can remove it. You see, you just pull it and it's off. Very easy. So now you got access to the rest if you need to remove anything else on the car. Okay. So now if you need to adjust the steering wheel because as I say you drive and for instance the, the steering wheel is like that. So what you have to do now is start the car and very slowly you'll go forward and then you, you will adjust the steering wheel. So for instance if you drive straight and it's like that then you remove it. You place it more straight okay you go a couple of times forward and backward make sure it's nice and straight and when you know you're happy then you can fit it all back okay so to fit it all back uh, it's very very easy I'll show you that so it's basically the same thing but in reverse so we place back our bolt place it inside and we tighten it well If it's not tightened enough, you will see, huh? see the steering wheel is moving. So make sure 
you go for it. <clears throat> okay. Now we place this around. So we place that part around first. We just push it and clip it. You will you will feel it, huh? It'll go nicely inside. Okay. And now we push the middle. Sometimes you might need to help it with the fingers. Okay. That's it. Okay. See, now it doesn't move. That's perfect. Now the logo. So try to make sure it's nice and, and straight. Okay. So you place one side first. And then you push it inside. And here we go. See, then after you move it a little bit to make sure it's nice. And that's it. That's done. Okay. Well, this is it for today. I hope that you have liked the video and we'll see each other in the next one. Ciao.